Hey everyone, Danielle here from TC Helicon, and now we're gonna talk tap tempo, room sense, and auxiliary on your Perform V. So as we spoke about in the effects video, you can use the tap function to tap in tempos for your echo effects. When you press the tap button, it will flash in time with your echo effect and show you the current tempo of the delays repeat. You can retap the tempos at any time to sync up the echo with your current song. Keep in mind that you can also tap in half time or double time to make your echo sound more flexible. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord. If you have selected and activated an echo effect, but the tap button is dark, that means that the current active echo style is in slap style and it doesn't use the tap tempo. So that's it for tap tempo. Now we're gonna move on to room sense. Have you noticed that little hole on the front of your Perform V? That's your room sense microphone. This microphone is here for three reasons. Firstly, the microphone allows you to beam in presets wirelessly from a Perform V app. Secondly, if you beam in a preset that contains harmony or hard tune effects and you're not using an aux in music source to guide key and scale, the built-in mic will listen to the chords in the room, like a nearby guitar or piano, and try to figure out the key and scale for you. And lastly, if you don't plug in a microphone and have headphones connected, you can use the onboard mic to sing into. It makes for a great way to practice with virtually no other equipment needed. So moving on to the aux input. When you connect a music player or a smartphone to the aux input and play a song, any incoming chord information will be used to determine the key and scale for the Perform V's harmony or hard tune effects. But remember, this is for beamed presets only. See our beamable presets videos for more information on this. You're gonna hear the aux input signal mixed with your mic input. If the aux signal is too loud or too quiet, use the volume control on the external music player to mix to taste with your vocals. Audio from the aux input is slightly delayed from input to output. This improves the chord detection. This delay won't have any effect on the music that you're singing along with, but it does mean that this input isn't intended to support instruments that you're playing live. So don't try to plug in a live instrument through the aux, as they'd likely lag well behind your performance. If you want to sing along to your own track, make sure there are full chords throughout the song. This way our chord detection will be able to pick all those up and you'll get the best out of using harmony. Billie Jean is not my lover She's just a girl who says that I am the one So that's it for tap tempo, room sense, and auxiliary. We've got lots more to share with you guys about the Perform V, so stick around for the next video.